public safety and public schools. And um, I want to correct something that I've heard here tonight. Is um, when they tell you that crime is up, yes, last year was up. Uh, in 2011, it was up over 2010 by a very small amount. But 2010 was the lowest record, the lowest crime record that we have for part one serious crimes. If you go to the uh, police website, you can pull up part one serious crime totals for the last 31 years. And if you look on there, you'll see that in the five years before I came on the city council, the average crime was per year was of serious crime was 4,990 per year. In the five years since I've been on the city council, the average crime rate is for serious crimes is 4,370 per year. So that's a reduction of 620 per year. Um, now, I think that one of the reasons for that is when I got on there in 07, I started asking for crime prevention officers. And we hired two crime prevention officers, and these are the people that go out to the neighborhood associations and work with them in the apartment house uh, organizations and work with them to teach them how to reduce crime in those neighborhoods. And I definitely want to thank our police officers for the job they're doing. And uh, when we have more money in our, and we are sales tax rate is, is moving up, we got 1.1 million more this year, we're gonna hire more police officers. And my second priority is the public schools, because without public schools, you absolutely cannot get the businesses or keep the Kaiser workers, the medical people, the tech people from dark fiber that are gonna come here. We want them to live, work, and play in this community and send their kids to our school. We have to bring those test scores above the average rate of Alameda County so they'll stay there. And I've partnered with the schools and I've saved them a lot of money in the five years that I've been on the city council. Thank you. I'm the only candidate in the city council this year that unequivocally called for pension reform. Public safety is tied to pension reform because we have to share from within to fund more police officers. And I would like to remind that in 2013, the grant, the CAPS grant is expiring this year. And in 2013, it's a requirement that the city pay for these five police officers under CAPS grants. And that's in the tune of 800,000. And my question now is, where will we get those 800,000? Yes, there are potential revenue generated projects. We have the Kaiser, there is the, the, uh, the vacant lot next to Kaiser. We can, can convert that area to retail stores, but that's a long shot. We can always see how we can upgrade the Marina Square parking situations on weekends. Those are potential revenues also. But that's a long shot. We need to free up some funds from the pension of the uh, pension cost. And if the employees will share their cost now, it will save the city $3 billion. And the, the, my, my, my solution is simple. Free up some funds and we can hire more police officers. We can repair roads. We can maintain so senior services support social services, open swimming pools and libraries. Thank you.